In this video, I'm gonna go over the top 5 best players in Apex Legends. I think there are two really big reasons that you should be watching some really skilled Apex Legends players. So the first reason is kind of like you'd watch an NBA basketball game. You can watch people do things that you'll really never be able to do yourself. Like some of these top tier Apex Legends players, they can really just dunk on some noobs and make them look silly. So basically, in my opinion, I think that it will be super fun to watch these top 5 Apex Legends players that I'm gonna be talking about. But the second reason that you should should be watching people just like this is because watching really skilled players I don't think there are a whole lot of other ways to actually get better faster like watching people with this really perfected apex legends talent you might not play as good as them in the future but you're definitely gonna pick a few things up but very quickly before we get into the video I want you to join my discord server in my discord server I have my actual face reveal so if you want to see what your boy alarmix be looking like definitely join the discord server in my discord server I also have things like my PC build and also just some other interesting behind the scenes stuff. Anyways, I'm Alarmix, and let's get into the video. Okay, now we're getting into the best Apex Legends players. So starting off at number 5, my choice might disgust a couple of people out there, but I really do believe that this guy deserves to be at number 5. So at number 5 we have Shroud. Some people may not believe that Shroud should be on the top 5 player list. This is mostly because Shroud is not the most experienced Apex Legends player, and his movement can sometimes be a little bit disgusting, at least compared to some of the other players on this list. But Shroud Shroud really is insane at this game, but first I want to get into Shroud's backstory just really quickly. So Shroud actually used to be a professional CSGO player, and he was pretty good at what he did. He ended up quitting CSGO to pursue his streaming career, and now he plays Apex Legends on and off. Shroud brought something really important from professional CSGO to Apex Legends. So you guys all know what CSGO is, it's a first person shooter. One of the most important things in CSGO is just to have godly aim, and that is what Shroud does super well inside of Apex Legends. I do believe that Shroud has the very best aim that I have seen out of any Apex Legends player. Like Shroud's movement, like I said, I mean, it, Shroud's movement is actually pretty good, but compared to some of the other pro players in Apex Legends, it's kind of nasty. But Shroud still makes this game look super easy, just because Shroud, he basically has aimbot. On screen, I'm obviously showing you Shroud clips right now. And I mean, this guy's just chatting away at his friends, just casually not missing any shots whatsoever. And I think that just kind Kind of a cool way to think about this this being an fps it's basically a competition of who can hit each other with the most bullets first i think given this i do believe that shroud is one of the best players in the game so now i'm gonna move on to the fourth best player shroud is probably the most well-known player on this list so you may not know a couple of these names coming up Anyways, at number 4, we have TSM Abrey Lely. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this guy is a pretty insane Pathfinder player. He has a really interesting strategy of using close range weapons, and then grappling towards people, and then having two close range weapons to swap between. I really do think that if you are a Pathfinder main, this is really the guy to watch, because you will learn a whole bunch of different ways to use your grapple. Like, this is one of the people I just sit there and awe and watch. Like, sometimes I think Abrey Lely, I think I'm saying that right. I think he's just joking around. He grapples into the worst possible situation in the middle of a squad, but because he has the peacekeeper and maybe say a wingman or even a Kraber and also really good aim, even though he grapples in the middle of squads, it seems like he always comes out on top. At number three on our list, we have the one and only Korean god Raz. Raz is an absolutely insane player and I think you will benefit a lot from watching him. Something that I noticed about Raz is that he doesn't really have a whole lot of flaws in his gameplay. His aim is excellent, his movement is excellent, but I think the one thing that he does far better than any other Apex Legends player that I have ever seen is that the deeper Raz gets into trouble, even if he is smooching four Apex Legends enemies all at once, even if Raz is one shot, he plays better and better as he gets more and more into trouble. Like usually when I'm faced with a three on one, I dip out, even if sometimes I'm faced with a two on one, but when you watch Raz, when he is faced with a lot of opponents at once, he it seems like he's super calm. Like, this man doesn't really care if he dies. But at the same time, he really cares about not dying, and he really wants to kill people, especially when he gets on low health. In preparation for this video, I have watched so many Raz highlights, and there have been a couple of times where he is one shot, but then Raz will start doing some crazy movement stuff and will be peacekeepering kids in the face. It's kind of insane to watch. So now we'll 
moving on to the second best player. The player that I have here on my list is Daltouche. Now, don't worry, console players. I did not leave you out on the side of the curb here. I do believe that Daltouche is the very second best player in Apex Legends. And let me tell you guys, there are a couple of very good reasons for that. Compared to people like Raz, Daltouche is not a super shiny player. He doesn't really pu pull off like super insane plays. And by that, I mean he's not attaching, dropping, and reattaching to a grapple and like double headshotting people with the wingman. Daltouche is what I would call more of a conservative player. The way Daltouche plays is actually really interesting and I do believe that Apex Legends players should shoot to play exactly like Daltouche does. When you watch him, there will not be four people sitting right in front of his face all at once. Daltouche uses the very best guns in the game and only exposes himself to one player at a time. He has really, really great aim. Not as good as Shrouds, almost though. He peeks that one player at a time, annihilates them, and moves on to the next. It seems like when you watch Daltouche play, every single thing is calculated and thought through, and he does not do a bunch of stupid stuff. When you watch other really good Apex Legends players play, sometimes they get carried away with their skill and it actually pays off. Like they have really insane movements and they can basically just dodge bullets. But most of us Apex Legends players, we cannot actually allow that to happen, just basically committing suicide. I think that if you focus on your aim and only allow one enemy to be shooting you at a time, you will be a very, very hard player to take down. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I believe it is time to move on to the very best, the very most skilled, the very most insane Apex Legends player I have ever seen. You guys are gonna think I'm joking, but the best Apex Legends player is me, Alarmix. You guys are gonna think I'm kidding, but I'm serious. I really think that compared to the other four people on this list, my movement is better, my aim is better, and I'm just better. No. No, give me you fatty. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Put in the comments if I actually fooled you. The best Apex Legends player is Asu. I know a lot of you guys out there were thinking Asu is number one. And if you were thinking Asu is number one, as the very best player in Apex Legends, you were absolutely correct. I believe that Asu is currently the most skilled and most well rounded Apex Legends player there is. If you guys ever actually get the chance to watch Asu live on Twitch, he's really just a winner. He always finds a way to get out of bad situations, but most of all, not create those bad situations. In the the first place. Asu is probably the best player with the R99 in the game, and that makes sense if he's the very best Apex Legends player. Like, this guy can absolutely recoil control with little effort. When I was doing my research for this video, it seemed like left and right, people were saying, documents online were saying, that Asu is in fact the best Apex Legends player there is. And I mean, when you watch him play, and even when you listen to what he says, Asu seems like a really smart guy in general. Like, some of the plays he pulls off, I mean, you can't really teach it. He just he just really calculates everything. He's not really like Daltouche to where he takes everything slow and executes. He takes everything really fast and he executes it really well. I think that Asu overall has the very best game sense and decision making there is. To be quite honest, I do not believe that Asu actually needs that much more explanation. I mean, I'm guessing everyone here knows who Asu is. And if you don't, you should definitely watch him. But yeah, I will leave a link to my Discord in the description make sure to join my discord server and that will be about it for me the alarmix and i'll see you guys later